a while ago I asked if anybody knew what kind of wood this was and we've since then determined it was Dawn Redwood. Today I'm going to try to make use of it for the first time and see what's, what it looks like inside there. And I'll show you my, well, that's a new to old. So here we go. Here's my new tool. It's a little bandsaw, a Harbor Freight Special. Uh, <laughs> Dad thought I was being a little too dangerous with that <laughs> chop saw. So I'm going to try to use this for the first time and, and create a relatively circular bowl blank. I've never used it. I just got it put together. And uh, let's see what we get. I'm on the wrong side here, though. Something must be off. That didn't sound quite right. Huh. There's no color in that hardly at all. Now let's try another cut. And then we'll see what we can get. <laughs> That's not even close around. That's really light wood. And I expected maybe to see some red tint in there, but. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm gonna have to make myself one of those uh, circular jigs eventually. Still got a lot of rounding to do. Let's uh, get it on the lathe and do some playing. First off, this is going to be a really small bowl. Got it. I've got to use the extension on the banjo for the tool rest, or tool rest extension, or whatever you call it because my banjo is not long enough to go around the outside here. All this bark is going to fly off, I'm sure. First thing I need to do is get these knots down, which is likely to be the hardest part of the wood, obviously. And let's just see what we got. Find my mask, or my face shield, rather. Make sure we're down at slow speed. I tried to sharpen my tools. Let's just see what we got. Wish me luck. Everything's tight here. My head stacks are not moving. take off there don't I? Time to take off the jacket. Tighten that up, make sure it's tight enough. Don't move a little tail stock. That looks okay. Let's try speeding up a little bit.
Somebody probably should have done a little bit better job of cutting that into a circle. Wow, look at all that tear out. I need to figure out how to do this uphill, downhill kind of cutting, don't I? Okay, well, let's, ooh, wow, look at all those cracks there. Hmm. Cracks there. That's the pith, I think. Maybe this will be firewood. Let's try to do something with this end. Maybe get a tenon on there. Okay, this is bound to be interesting. Let's see if we can't shape this into something like a bowl. I'll move you back over here again. My lathe came with this tool rest. Maybe I'll try it out. Or not. Well, that's as far as that quill goes on that banjo. Yeah. 
I want to try to keep those knots because they're kind of the only real feature in here. Get out of the way, Ted. Okay, let's try to flatten that, I guess. You're gonna have to move again. And let's try to go without the tailstock. tear out there. I sanded it up to 600 grit. Of course, I had to skip a couple grits because uh, I didn't have the sandpaper. I'm going to try my sanding paste and see what this little puppy's going to look like. Get your hands in the way there, Ted. Uh, that wood does still look like mulberry, doesn't it? It's got that yellow tint to it. Hey, okay. I'm guessing that's <laughs> on the face. Well, I have it 
in the chuck. Hopefully it doesn't go flying around. I can't really put the tail stock up because the tool rest is in the way. And I don't have a shorter tool rest. Low speed, let's try to clean up that edge and hollow it out. Do something different, aren't we? <laughs> what fun, what fun. I guess we'll try to mount it back on the warm wood screw and do a recess in there. <laughs> Ted, you're doing it wrong. Well, it got a little damaged when it fell off there, when that tenon broke. I don't know if you can see that, maybe not. Little scratches. I'm not sure if I want to fix it or just leave it as a feature. I think maybe I'll just leave that. Well, I don't know. I guess I better, better clean that up a little bit. There's other scratches in there too now. Right here, well, I probably can just sand that out. Yeah, let's try to get a recess on there. I'll just... What to do? Hmm. You know what? I'll try to get a recess on there, and I'll see if I can sand that to looking nice, and then we'll go from there. Guess I can't have that tail stack up for to try to make a recess, can I? I have to pause you again. sound right. Wow. That's why it doesn't sound right. That's loose. Let's try that again. Not sure how deep I have to go, but deeper than I would assume. Doesn't look like that's gonna hold. Hmm. See if we're if that's gonna hold that recess.
crack right through there. With all that color in there. Oh wow. It's too bad that's not the bottom. <laughs> I like those little knots in there. Finally some red in the redwood. Don't hit that camera. This bowl just does not want to be a bowl. Okay, let's try this again. Woohoo! crack right there. Keep it in the camera arm. I need a taller lathe. Bending over here is just no fun. And hitting my head on that silly camera arm is no fun either.
a little thick right there yet. The lip. Wow, there's a lot of tear out down in there. You probably can't see that. Start to clean off that sides a little bit. And then I guess we'll just sand it and leave it a little thick. Still too thick down there. Why don't we push it a little bit, Ted? You know what? I think I'm going to try to mark that. Kick that camera too. Right down there, still I've got some fooling to do. It doesn't go all the way around, it's just right there where that hard knot is. I sanded it for a third time. I put finish on it. And let's uh, use the Howard Feeding Wax. That stuff there. Just orange oil and beeswax and some other things. Let's buff it up. Okay, it's a little thicker than I would have wanted, but I kind of like it. Well, I've got some damage there to clean up. Get the sander, get some sandpaper there, and I think I'll just do that by hand. It's a pretty soft wood. I'm not going to make you watch all that either. Unless you want to. You want to watch that? I didn't think so. Well, here it is. I'll try to get some stills. Kind of like that orange color of it. Kind of reminds of mulberry. Green kind of looks like pine. There we are. One Dawn Redwood Bowl in the books after I sign it. Stay tuned for some before and after shots as per request. Thanks for the idea, Mom.